In today's video, we're going to go over to New Austin and pick the four herbs that we need to complete the Herbalist 9 challenge. And we're going to be using the uh, covered wagon, one of the Appleseed Timber Wagons. And you just steal that right around 9 a.m. over there by the Stagecoach Station in Strawberry. And you can use the buggy that you can get in Saint Denis for this as well. I use both things. I, the buggy is probably a little bit more versatile, but the only thing we're doing today is getting the herbs. So we're just going to cross the river right here. We're going to go through Beecher's Hope, down to Quaker's Cove, through Thieves Landing. We're going to get on the railroad. And this is our first stop over here. That's going to be for the Wild Fever Few. We're just going to change the uh, camera settings. All right, so you only have to change one or maybe two, but I just change them all. Everything that's got an off, I switch it off. And this prevents the camera from going all the way through the wagon when Arthur gets off. And I do suggest you practice this before you go over to uh, New Austin. You don't want to go over there and figure it out. Figure it out on the safe part of the map instead. You know, just do a, a few practice dismounts and mounts. If you park beside cement or something, you could even practice picking that. It's also useful to see where Arthur winds up standing once he gets off the wagon, so you'll know exactly where to stop the wagon. Alright, so I'm going to take a health tonic before I get started, because there are Pinkertons and lawmen over here who would like to kill me. And here we go. We're going for the um, gate at Beecher's Hope. And we don't want to waste any time through here. Okay, this one was pretty easy today. But sometimes what you'll get is... Um, one single lawman who keeps chasing you and he's faster than the the rest of them he will not go away if that happens to you he's not going to go away you're going to have to kill him before you get to new austin because once you get to new austin you won't be able to turn around in the wagon and shoot at him so if that does happen to you just um you know get a nice open area like this you know for example and just Swing the wagon around and shoot him in the head. Maybe even with an explosive bullet or something, you know. Just make sure you kill him. Because he will follow you into New Austin. And once he does that, he's going to kill you. Alright. So we're just about to cross the river. This is where you uh, need to get switched on and start concentrating on what you're doing. And you can't expose Arthur because there's a sniper over here and it's one shot one kill now the biggest virtue you can have uh, when you're doing this is patience you know you you have to go slow certain places like this when things are tricky slow down try to figure it out don't be in too much of a hurry if you need to look at the map 20 times um, you know, look at the map 20 times. If you need to use photo mode 20 times just to, to move 5 feet, then do that. Alright, so that was Thieves Landing. And we're going to uh, link up with the railroad here and just follow the railroad. I like to do that because the railroad is predictable. Now, if you use the buggy, uh, like I said earlier, the buggy is more versatile. First of all, it's more maneuverable. You can, however, get shot through the hole in the back of the buggy. But if you use the buggy, you can hunt the legendary animals. You can hunt, uh, sorry, fish for the legendary fish. You can't do those things with a wagon. So you can do everything with the buggy, but you can't do everything with the wagon. But we're just getting the, uh, the herbs today, like I said, so... This wagon's going to be fine. Alright. 
I'm looking for lawmen, actually. Lawmen like to patrol the roads. I'm going to put my plot right there. Yeah. And of course we're getting these four herbs so that we can get the uh, Legend of the East outfit. Now this is chapter two. I'm doing something special uh, where you get the Legends of the East outfit by utilizing Gambler 1, the Gambler 1 challenge. Uh, I have another video on that. Right. So I think it's just down this way. That's a little white flower we're looking for here. Yeah, there we go. I'll have a look at that. And this is what you have to do over here. If you're using this as like a tutorial, yeah, this is what you have to do. Go into photo mode, have a look at things. It helps if you already know what the flower looks like. And then we just want to park the wagon right beside the flower so that Arthur can get off the wagon and pick the flower. And you will use both joysticks to keep the uh, camera from going through the wagon. Right, so I think that's a little bit too far forward. The wagon needs to go forward a little bit, I think. Now that looks pretty decent to me. I don't think Arthur would have to move at all. That's what's important. Like when you step off, you don't want Arthur going for a little walk, you know, to get this flower. You want it to be right there where he can get it. And one thing to think about too is uh, all three of those flowers, if one of them looks better to Arthur than the other ones, he might step over there and grab it, you see. All right, so I'm utilizing both joysticks to keep the wagon, you know, it's hard to describe what, what you're doing exactly, but you're keeping the wagon between the camera and Arthur so that um, the sniper doesn't shoot him. Okay, so we got the wild fever few right there. That was a success. We got off the wagon. We picked the flower. We got back on the wagon. Now we're down to three. We need three more herbs. So next stop, now this is what you're going to be facing if it's the first time you come over here. It's just a blank map. So my next stop is, I'm just trying to plot a point near Armadillo. Yeah, ho hopefully that'll work. Okay, so if you're doing this and you made it this far, I mean, you would know what you're doing by now. Uh, you're just keeping Arthur hidden with the wagon. So we'll just cut ahead now to something that's a little bit more relevant. Now, I'm just kind of sightseeing right now. Look at the mini-map. It shows it a turn to the left. And I'm sightseeing. I'm not thinking about it. And that's, I got complacent, and that's bad. What's happened is I forgot that I put a waypoint in the middle of nowhere. And I'm just following that waypoint, but it's actually taking me to the wrong place. So I forgot about that. You need to stay switched on over here. And I switched off. All right, so... I'm going to put a waypoint there. You see where it is to the southwest of the S. And that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to have to go cross country now to sort of correct that. But, hey, yeah, you, you got to do what you got to do. All right. Now this is to get the red sage. And you see this area with the rock formations to the left and these big patches of cactus. All right. I think that's a better waypoint right there. And it's hard to see. It's not a huge plant, but the plant is distinctive. You see that? It's got the little slender vertical flowers that go up in the air. All right, so that's what we're looking for.
just checking my positioning. And, you know, you just move the wagon as many times as you need to move it. Because it's a long ride over here, and you don't want it to go wrong. All right, here we go. Off the wagon. So far, so good. Pick and examine. That's the crucial moment right there. Okay, so far, so good. And we got the red sage. And we got back on the wagon. Hey, that's a good day. And we'll just check the satchel. When you look in the satchel, it just says sage. And that's okay. Then we got the, yeah, 41 and 43. So we need two more. Great. All right. The next plot is again on a blank map. It's somewhere up here to the northwest of Armadillo. I'm just guessing at it right here. Okay. And we're just about up there to that plot. So just pay attention to the mini-map and the, and the map here. This is where I am. And this is the next waypoint I made. But you see the red X. That's where I am. That's important. Because I don't move from that red X right here. And I'm just going to have a look. Now, Courant. This is the black Courant right here. Courant has a very distinctive look. It's a bushy plant on a long stalk. And it looks the same all over the map. So that's how close I am actually to the black Courant. I'm closer to it than my waypoint I made. We're right here at this intersection. You can see it on the mini-map. Okay, so there's the... Uh, the black current and conveniently it's right beside the road very easy to get to should be easy to position the wagon exactly where we need it and there we go that looks pretty good to me the other plants pretty far away I don't think there's any danger for Arthur to want to go and pick that plant all right here we go off Pick and examine. It's taking a while to register. There we go. All right. Can we get back on? Yes, we can. Well, all right. That's uh, three in a row so far. We got one left. One single plant left to get Herbalist 9. All right. And this plot's going to be difficult because uh, it's far away. And, yeah. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive back south. I'm going to get on the railroad and follow the railroad like so. Down here to Mercer Station. Just kind of gradually opening up the map. Just taking it slow and easy. Alright, we're getting down here to like a spaghetti junction of all sorts of railroad and roads. And right there, after that three-way uh, rail junction, there's a, a bridge. Now I normally get off the rail line there, just before the bridge. Because you see all these intersections coming up. It's like the uh, one of the intersections coming up, I'm going to have to take a right. So I'm just trying to pay attention to that. Now I just drove over my waypoint and it disappeared. So I'm going to have to make a new plot. I think right there. We'll see how that works out. And just keep a reference on the uh, mini map to help you if you're using this to, to find this. All right, let's just move it on here. Right, so I'm meant to go right here. And my plot's in the wrong place. I'm just going to move it. It's closer to the road. Right. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, we're at this intersection right here. You see that? 
It's like a three-way intersection with a triangle in the middle. And there's my plot. Okay, there's a fork in the road just up here. And I saw these two guys coming. I thought they might be lawmen. They were not lawmen. But you, you can't ever be too careful. See, yeah, there, there it is. Very hard to see. It's a small plant. It's not bright. There's where the wagon is. So it's just a little bit ahead of me. All right, so I finally got positioned here. And look how close the other plants are. I'm a little bit worried about that because Arthur might take it into his head to pick up that second one right there. That's that's a little bit dicey. You know what I'm thinking is uh, I'm going to park the wagon over two of the other plants and that will only leave one plant for Arthur to pick up. So that's what I'm... I'm hoping that's going to help me out a little bit. Okay, so I got my wagon positioned like this. The other two plants are underneath the wagon now. And I'm hoping that means uh, I don't have to worry about it. Alright, let's go for it. Here we go. Off the wagon. It's all good. Right. So, um, obviously that's very disappointing, but that's the nature of this wagon trip to New Austin. Uh, you need to be prepared for that, because if you're going to be coming over here, you're going to die a lot, and you're going to have to get used to coming back over here again and again and again. Now, in this instance, uh, I was so frustrated that I went to Valentine after this, and I picked a fight with a guy on Valentine, and I beat up every single person in that town. I made a video on that too if you want to watch it. Um, but yeah. So you know what we're going to have to do. I need that one herb. I got to have it now. I got 42 out of 43. So uh, yeah, only one thing needs to happen. We're going to have to go all the way back over here. And get this stupid plant. The desert sage. And that's the time. And that's our ride coming there. And I hope you enjoy this next segment.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I didn't want to just cut straight to me uh, trying to get this plant because the journey, uh, the trip over here is so epic that I, I just wanted uh, something that sort of reflected that. I don't want to waste anybody's time, but this is an epic journey when you take this uh, trip over here and it feels like that. And I, I just, I felt like Ride of the Valkyries uh, sort of captures that. Right, so what do we got here? That's oregano. It, this is a hard plant to find, actually. There it is. You can use the lens button. You see there's a menu to the right. If you choose lens, you can zoom in once you're uh, used up all your range. All right. Now, there was a lawman coming, uh, so I had to get off the road and hide. And I spent quite a few minutes over here just waiting for that lawman to go past. But now I'm going to position the wagon... Okay. And this time I'm not going to worry about the other plants. And this is exactly where we are right now. That's exactly where the desert sage is. All right, let's do this thing. Yes, sir. All right, so that's it. Herbalist 9 accomplished. I hope you enjoyed that. If you stuck with me to this point, I appreciate that, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the song.